Hey, Jupiter Scouters, Justin here, and I have terrible news. Today, while I was working on our treehouse, a huge gust of wind came and it blew my hat clean off. Do you have any ideas how I can get my hat back? Let's put on our thinking caps. Huh. That's the problem. My favorite thinking cap is stuck in the tree. No worries. Let's get out my bucket of hats. Inside the bucket of hats, we have many options. Let's see what we can find. A baseball cap. It looks good, but I don't think it'll help in this situation. We won't need this anymore. What else is here? Hmm, a straw hat. This looks very festive. It also helps keep the sun from my eyes, but it does nothing for my thinking. We won't need this anymore. Look at that, a spooky witch hat. I think it'd be great for Halloween, but it also won't help with our thinking. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's anything left in our barrel of hats. So we have to figure out a way to get my thinking cap back. Let's clean up. What do we have around the campsite that we can use? Well, we always have a rope and we always have poles. I wonder if I could take this pole and use it to extend my reach. Let's try. That's pretty close, but it's still not far enough. What else do we have? I have a second pole. Hmm. What if I put them over each other and held them in the middle? That makes a pretty long pole. Let's see if that works. Without them being tied together, it doesn't do much help. When I'm having a problem, I tend to go to one book, the scout book. Let's get out our scout books and see if there's something we can find in here that will help. Ready? Scout book, scout book, scout book, scout book, scout book. Well, look at that. I've bookmarked our chapters on lashings because I've been practicing them for the last few days. Shear lashing, diagonal lashing, tripod lashing. We made one of those yesterday. Square lashing. We made one of those too. What's this? A round lashing. Round lashings can be used to join two poles together side by side to extend their length. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Today, let's work on building a round lashing together. If you're following along in your scout book, turn to page 377. If you're not, follow me. I'll go real slow. To begin any lashing project, we'll need some rope, which we have, and we'll need some poles. To help you see our lashing better, I've devised a contraption. Let me get it out. This contraption combines three things. It combines the log that we lift things on, the third hand clamp, and the detachable pinching fingers. You won't need this for your lashing. It's only so you can see it on your screen. So to begin, I'm going to take my poles and I'm going to lay them over each other about halfway. Then, for our demonstration, I'm going to place them inside the detachable pinching fingers into the third hand jaws, tighten it up as tight as I can. There we go. Now you have a bird's eye view of our lashing. Let's take our piece of string and begin with the clove hitch. Do you remember the clove hitch? I hope you do. If not, let's practice it again now. We're going to start with one end of our rope and place it over both poles. Then we're going to bring it around a second time, crossing it over itself and making an X. Then we're going to bring it around a third time, taking our pinching fingers, pinching that X and sliding our tail right underneath it. Then let's pull it very tight. There we go. We've started to bind our poles together. To continue this lashing, we're going to take the rest of, our rest of our rope and begin wrapping it around both poles. Let's wrap it as many times as we can until we run out of string. Three, four, five, six, seven. My string is getting very short. So to end this, let's tie another clove hitch. Let's come around our pole around it again, cross it over and make our X, bring it around a third time. Then let's take our pinching fingers, pinch that X and slide the other end of the rope right underneath it. 
Then let's pull it very tight. There we go. Now we've completed one half of our round lashing. To make it stronger, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's practice it again together. Do you remember how we started? That's right, with the clove hitch. So let's take one end of our string, place it around both poles, place it around both poles again, crossing it over itself and make that X. Then let's bring it around a third time, taking our pinching fingers, pinching that X and sliding it underneath itself and pulling it very tight. There we go. What do we do next? <laughs> Wrappings. Let's continue wrapping our rope around both poles until we have none left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm getting very dizzy going around and around, nine, 10, 11, 12. Hmm, I think we forgot something. What did we forget? The clove hitch. But now we don't have enough string to tie our clove hitch. No problem, let's take off a few wraps. We won't need that many. Let's take off one, two, three. Then let's tie our clove hitch. Let's come around the pole, around it a second time and make our X. Then. Let's come around a third time. Do you remember where I'm going now? Using my pinching fingers, let's pinch that X and slide the tail right underneath it. Sometimes this part is very tricky. Oop, there we go. Now let's pull it tight. There we go, that's a perfect round lashing. Let's take it out of our contraption and examine it. This looks like it would do a great job Let's clean up a little bit before we try it. This is pretty long, but it's still not long enough. I shouldn't have used the shrink array yesterday to shrink all of my poles. Is there something we can use to make them bigger? What else do I have around the campsite? Well, I have an untested contraption. Are you willing to try it with me today? This contraption is used to unshrink our poles. It begins with a simple cloth. We're going to cover our poles with the simple cloth. Then we're going to get out the scope that we look through and we're going to look as hard as we can at our shrunk poles and we're going to think them big. Ready? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. They seem like they're getting bigger. They're getting heavier. I can't lift them anymore. Oh, oh, look at that. They're gigantic. These are perfect. Let's see if this will help me get my thinking cap from the tree. Huh. Old friend, it's great to have you back. Huh. Now I feel much smarter with my thinking cap on. Thank you so much for coming over today and helping me get my hat from the tree. So, Come back tomorrow when we work on our treehouse some more. For the next few weeks when you're stuck at home, remember, stay safe and stay scouting.